The stories are heartbreaking. My brother, he, he died alone. Families not able to visit loved ones, medical staff helping in final moments. I FaceTime the family where the man was dying so they could be with him. Funerals are heavily restricted in many areas of the country, including Missouri, where Ernest Rankin Jr. died at 99. He deserves this. Um, we deserve it, not only us, just other families. The coronavirus is changing how we say goodbye right now. A lot of people have been struggling with increased anxiety and trauma um, of feeling like not knowing how to even start that grief process. Trauma therapist Katrina Reese says for many, the denial stage of grief is being prolonged by the absence of rituals like funerals and wakes that bring comfort and closure. Social distancing further complicating the process. It's natural for anyone going through the grief process to turn inward and to really want to bear that burden on their own. Um, but it's so important that we talk about those feelings. Some funeral homes are streaming services and burials. Reese suggests journaling, letter writing, or connecting via online platforms to share stories about those we've lost. And planning in-person memorials for after the pandemic. Sarah Dolliff, NBC News.